Hi people, I'm just doing a quick video to show you how to make um, fraps videos, compress them for YouTube. So like, when you make a fraps video, it's about 20 gig sometimes, maybe more. Like, a minute worth of video will be about 5 gig, so you can't upload that to YouTube, so you have to compress it. But most compressors, like Windows Movie Maker, will lower the quality to like, so that you can't even see the video but there's a program called virtual dub which keeps 90% of the quality based on how you want how big you want the file to be um, so that you can upload them to YouTube um, you can check out my YouTube channel to see the quality I'll show you some here uh, where are we see uh, yeah 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 that's this was fraps and this file got put down to about 500 megabyte maybe less 400 megabyte from about 5 gig 4 gig something like that actually the file size is probably smaller uh, I'm not sure how to check but anyway yeah you get the idea so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a game uh, Star Frapson um, and show you how to compress it. So I'm going to pause this video, um, go in game, get some recordings uh, for my Fraps folder here, and yeah, be right back. By the way, when you're um, making a Fraps video, it's best to put it on 50 FPS, full size. Uh, record external inputs so that you can hear yourself. Like if you want yourself to be on the recording. Um, under FPS you want to put it up in an overlay and yeah that's pretty much what I'll be about right so just perhaps in some spiral nights at the moment until we get quite a big file it's like, it's like more than one uh, video file because the frap splits them into segments uh, well let's see if that's enough but if you had to continue fraps in like now right so we got two, f two video files now um, fraps will cut it into segments you see so if we, what you do is you want to go in, rename the files from whatever the fraps is named to one, two, and then if you have more like three, four, five, six in the correct order, um, load up virtual dub, open video file, navigate to wherever you save your fraps videos, open it. Vid, now what you need to download is um, xvid, xvid codec. But just download XVID and it'll install the codec. Um, then go to video compression. XVID MPEG4 codec. Now, this quality bit at the top, this line, is the only thing you need to be concerned about on this page. Um, I have it set to 4.5, which still the f keeps the file quite big. But depending on your upload speed to YouTube, you want to decrease the quality of your video or increase increase the size of the file and increase the quality size um, right so 4.5 is by normal press ok go to audio um, full processing mode right so after you've done the audio um, what you want to do is you want to go to file append avi segment um, select the second one in the chain and then make sure this thing is selected auto detect additional segments by file name basically what that does is um, it links all the videos together and it will put them onto one big video um, like repairs it from what fraps does so then it, you'll be able to tell it's work by here the video file will get a lot larger the bottom uh, then go to file uh, save as avi uh, save it over that one because I've done it before. Uh, save it as whatever. Uh, two. Right, and then what 
what will happen is um, it's now processing your video and compressing it and once it's finished we're going to have a look at the quality to see the difference between Fraps video and the compressed quality it shouldn't take too long because it's only a small video but you've got to think about if you are doing a large gaming video which is like five minutes long it's going to take a lot longer I mean it can take up to an hour sometimes more maybe less depends right that's done um, right so minimize that you don't need that no more we've got our number two here uh, wrapped right so here's our original quality this is the fraps video which is like the large video file and then we load up our new one I mean there's not much difference there on YouTube you would not be able to tell the difference between those videos really yeah so here's the difference in the file size so this is our compressed one 11 megabytes um, yeah and here's our old one 438 megabytes and segment 2 was 59 megabytes so that's like nearly five, yeah, 500 megabytes down to 11 megabytes and there's not even that much quality difference so then you can obviously upload that to YouTube without any problems but yeah um, that's pretty much it so thanks for watching